Hi there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marissa and if you are not, welcome back. Uh, today I thought I would do a little bit of a, like a chit chat, get ready with me and also kind of give you like a life update. Um, I'm getting ready to go to um, meet up with a friend for dinner and I figured I just kind of give you a little bit of an update of what's been going on with me and also get ready. So I've already put on my brows and I'm using the, I use the Winky Lux Unibrow, Universal Brow Pencil. This is like the, I want to say like third or fourth time I've used it. Now, it, I mean the product itself is really nice, but the color I definitely would not 100% agree with the claim that it's universal. As you can see, it doesn't match my color perfectly, but that's okay. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, like I said, I'm still testing it. It's only my like second or third time using it. And then also I have uh, like my base, like moisturizer. I have the Hydropeptide Moisture Reset Fido Nutrient Facial Oil. Now this I got in the FabFitFun box and I looked this up and this is $120. Holy cow. Um, and it's only one fluent ounce. And granted, you only need a couple drops and I've been using it. Um, a little bit and I like what it's doing it's supposed to be like anti-aging and I don't know I'm still kind of figuring out um, if it actually is anti-aging I do like the oil aspect and I think this is the first time I'm incorporating an oil into my kind of skincare routine so that I'm actually enjoying that and also what it's doing to my skin so that may be something that I'm going to continually do and then of course I have my oil free moisture sunscreen uh, from Neutrogena but yeah I figured I get started and give you an update of what's going on so I'm going to do a little bit of minimal makeup um, just like my normal what I've been doing like kind of every day but I guess a little bit more glammed um, I'm not going to be putting on a foundation, but anyways, I'm not going to talk about products too much. I will link them all down below. Um, so, I guess start out with the this past week. Um, went to the doctor after all the testing and stuff that I've been doing the past couple weeks. I know in a previous vlog, I um, posted about doing a camera endoscopy and to test to figure out kind of what's been going on with my digestive system. I don't know if I talked about this, but I was, went to the emergency room, gosh, sometime in June, for really bad um, pains in my stomach. Now, I'm not a stranger to that. I've had, I've been dealing with kind of like the stomach pains and things like that for probably almost 10 years now. But um, I like kind of chalked it up to diet or um, stress but um but i've never had to hold on but i've never had or felt the need to need to go to the emergency room which was new um so anyways so i've been going to the doctor and doing all the tests and stuff for that i did a colonoscopy um about two weeks ago now and um, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Now I'm not. I'm like I just got diagnosed like a few days ago, so I haven't really researched into it too much. But from what I understand, is it's an inflammation of the uh, intestinal, or I guess in different in the intestine, the intestine, and then colon. Um, and there's i guess my doctor i asked my doctor i was like is there any specific foods that i need to avoid or anything like that and he said no and, it, and it's and unfortunately i've kind of researched it a little bit and there's not really a clear way a like thing of saying like oh it's it can be triggered by stress some articles are saying yes some articles are saying no um so i'm not like 100% on like of which to believe I guess would be the best way but like I said I'm newly diagnosed and I haven't researched it too much um, 
but yeah I mean it's unfortunately it's something that's not curable at least not yet um, which sucks but and the fact that there's nothing that could tip like actually triggers it is kind of frustrating as well but uh, but at least I have like an actual diagnosis where like about 10 years ago they just kind of were test giving me all these things give me different diagnoses without actually going further and this particular doctor I'm working with now is like he wouldn't give me a full diagnosis until like he had blood work he had the colonoscopy he had the camera and like he had everything and then he said this is what it is I'm very confident in this diagnosis so I'm gonna you know go with that I'm um, not going to use the Morphe Highlight Contour Palette. Um, I don't know if this has like a specific color, but I use this for bronzer. I'm going to use the color, kind of a mixture of debutante, these two right here, debutante and donut. But anyway, so with all this medical stuff, you know, I have also was looking at houses and possibly potentially buying one but with all this stuff and all the medical expenses and stuff like that unfortunately that's gonna have to be pushed back you know it's not indefinite but it's not something that i think is feasible wow this looks really red on camera but it's not um not gonna be feasible at the moment so i can take care and uh oh take care and focus on my health um, which is most important which is definitely a lesson like I have to learn and still you know I've kind of learned over the years just with having to deal with this stuff um, but so that's gonna be put on hold unfortunately which sucks because I found a house that I really liked that was really close to the lake so I could like constantly paddle boarding or just go sit out and like read. Wow, this looks really orange for whatever reason. Okay. Anyways, I'm just kind of throwing this on, so I'm gonna blend it out. That was really heavy handed. Um, take the Wet n Wild Press Powder in the color Neutral Buff. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. It's actually the case broke to kind of diffuse that a little bit. But anyway, so that kind of, you know, made me sad and disappointed, but like I said, it's just um, temporary, you know, I have, I have to be, you know, my health has got to be 100%. Again, less, hard lesson to learn. Um, I'm still playing soccer, which has been my de-stressor, um, and that's not something I'm going to give up. Luckily. There's not, I think I need a new brush, that hair's coming up. The hairs are coming out of it. Anyways, I'm gonna take a little Morphe M504 brush and go back into Debbie Taunt in the same palette. But anyways, so that's gonna be put on hold probably till next year, which again, fine, not a big deal, but that's what's going on. Um, I've been playing soccer a lot more. Obviously you saw in the last vlog that I've been uh, I took the paddleboard out, I've been taking the paddleboard out, taking advantage as much as I can with, um, holy smokes, I'm going really heavy headed today. <laughs> Don't claim to be a makeup artist for that reason. I'll fix that later. But anyways, um, uh, I've been trying to be outside, take advantage of the warm weather, you know, I'm getting tan on which I just think I look healthier just with the undertones of my skin a little bit darker. Not saying anything's wrong with pale skin. Um, it's just something, it's just, it's a personal preference thing. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. So I think what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna be staying in this apartment. Oh shoot. I'm gonna be staying in this apartment probably another year while I figure all that out but you know with the way the world is like it's it's low on the totem pole it's not that big a deal although at first it kind of felt like it but 
it's fine. You know, you know, I'm. I, that's one thing I've definitely have tried to figure out and how to learn is to not be in a hurry. So <laughs> definitely, you know, when you're a kid and you just want to be an adult right away, it's kind of like that kind of concept. I was pretty bad as a kid and wanting to be an adult like right away. So uh, the camera died, so I had to switch over to the other one. Anyways, um, so that's kind of just been life decisions I've been making, especially after like, you know, the whole diagnosis. I need to, one, not only like focus on that, making sure that's under control, I mean, and having it in remission, um, but also like paying these medical expenses because if you have a chronic illness, um, or haven't been sick or have had to go to the emergency room, like you know that it's expensive. Uh, going out the, I'm going in the Kosas. Uh, another thing I got in the my Fabit Fun and Velvet Melon. It's a cream blush. If I can get it open, ow! Um, it's expensive. Just go so you have them. Um, it's expensive, to, you know, to go up these testings. I'm actually not going to go too crazy since I have to wear a mask. But anyways, um, to get these tests, one, and then, of course, the medication that you have to, you know, take for the rest of your life. But I'm pretty optimistic that I won't have to do that. And I'm trying to figure out ways that maybe I can... Um, uh, keep it under control without having to do that um, because unfortunately the medication that he recommended me is extremely expensive so I'm trying to find alternates right now but yeah, that's what's been going on with me um, but what's been going on with you guys is I know quarantine like some states are opening and then closing and then opening and closing Texas we're still not 100% what we're doing. We're supposed to find out later. I know California is still figuring out what to do with the school system. Texas is the same way. Um, um, but yeah, what's going on with you guys? Um, I guess another, I guess more exciting news besides the fact that I now know what's going on with me um, is I've been sewing a lot more, which is nice because that is definitely another de-stressor besides soccer is, you know, creating things with my hands and doing things like that, that definitely helps. Um, playing now, right now, the new season started and they're taking precautions. I'm not really worried about it. You know, I'm, I'm not like slobbering all over people or, Cons like hugging everybody, but it's like it's nice to see everybody and socialize. Um, as someone who lives alone, I mean, technically I have Milo, but um, as someone who lives alone and uh, not being able to socialize as much has definitely taken a toll on my mental health. Um, but I've got through it, I've gotten through it, you know. It also helps them back at work going to the office and. Um, so it's that part's been nice and then of course I've been sewing more and I've been putting things up on my Etsy and trying to build up that um that dream actually trying to now instead of calling them dreams I'm calling them plans because you know when you're five it's a dream but now at 26 almost 27 it is plans it's been planned since you know, it's all of what I wanted. For those who don't know, um, I, or for those of you who are new here, um, I make clothes and sell them. I do different designs. Um, and, and I have a Etsy store, um, which I will, of course, link down below. If I'm looking over here, it's because of the mirror. This thing doesn't have a mirror, unfortunately, but... Oh, I guess I could use this one. Um, and so I've been working on that, which has been great and exciting. Um, and I'm probably going to do my last, like, I guess, summer launch 
within the next week and then I'll be starting on fall stuff which is so much fun. I feel like fall, as much as I love summer, but fall fashion, I like prefer because there's more, um, there's more options of things to one, not, I keep almost trying to dip it in there. Um, not only make, but you know, to wear, like you have coats, skirts, hats, jackets, you like, there's just a lot more pieces involved, you know, boots, and stuff like that so I'm excited about that to get started because I have a lot of different ideas and as you have seen with my decluttering and organizing I have plenty of fabric to create and get creative with and another thing too is I've been making masks of like excess fabric that I have that I can't really make any full garments out of and I've been including them in my packages packages either with my Poshmark or anything I sell on Etsy so it's like a free gift and also it help it helps out someone who maybe needs a mask or they can give it to someone who needs a mask and you know just helps I don't know and then also on top of it I'm using up fabric and not being wasteful and also selfishly trying to get all the fabric out just so I can have a little more room but I'm really grateful that I have these skills to do things like that and I, you know, ultimately it's what I want to do. Um, I've, and also for me, starting YouTube was just kind of something I've always been interested in. I'm a huge fan of YouTube. It's one of my forces, uh, forms of entertainment, uh, besides, uh, sports, Netflix, Hulu, you name it. Um, and it's just something I've always thought about doing and just seeing what happens, but you know, doing the clothing brand and making clothes and designing clothes is definitely my number one thing. And then also on top of it, like, that's the thing with me. I have multiple passions. I have the fact that I want to do clothing, you know, to think about doing YouTube. And then on top of it, it's like, oh, I want to do home design. And, you know, one of the reasons why I want to buy a house is so I can dive into projects like that. I'm going to go in with the Make It Last setting spray. Um, Oh, and I wanted, you know, home design, just anything with design and working with your hands and stuff like that is just what I enjoy doing. And ultimately, I want to be working for myself. Um, I, you know, my job is, you know, it's a good job. The fact that um, we company has been surviving through COVID. There's still work for me I, you know there there's no talk of layoffs anytime so I'm grateful for the fact that I'm my job but at the same time it's realistically it's not my dream job and I know maybe a lot of people are in that boat where you know if they're stuck they're stuck at a job that they're like not 100% in love with or it's not their dream job they're just doing something to pay the bills and Realistically, that's what my job is right now. It's to pay the bills and it was to get myself back on my feet. I mean, if you follow me over on Instagram, I did a post about like what the reality of starting over is and why, you know, I have boxes everywhere. I have, you know, I did, yeah, at one point I didn't have a car and, you know, that literally like down to the bottom and um which was hard but you know i got out of it there's that's i mean it was something that is what is something i needed to do for myself and for my happiness and there's nothing wrong with taking that leap i know it's scary but if you trust yourself you're gonna be fine which at the end of the day i feel like i'm fine i mean i'm not where i want to be but that's the thing it's you, as long as you're making any sort of progress. I mean, slow progress is still progress. So that's what's going on uh, with that. Um, and let's see, what am I gonna do with my hair? Oh, my mascara I use is the BFF, the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. It's actually almost to the point that it needs, it's probably uh, almost going bad. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do lips right now since I have to put on a mask, but I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit, one, and to kind of see what's going on with me. 
I'm gonna go meet up with my friend and have dinner. And, and if you did enjoy this getting ready with me, kind of a chit chat, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and also while you're there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. I'm feeling it's going to be Saturdays, again, still working on that. And if you want some daily updates on what's going on with me and my little buddy Milo, go over to Instagram and follow us at From Hem to Stem. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and enjoying summer and enjoying this warmer weather. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.